It always amuses me that I start off researching what you would think was a historical novel about somebody in prison or one of the queens, and you find yourself going down these extraordinary byways, which I really have to know if I'm going to write a good novel. Philippa Gregory. Her evocative name could easily be mistaken for a member of the court of Henry VIII. It is, however, a name known around the world, a name that has become synonymous with best-selling historical novels. But what is it that captivates us about Philippa and makes us hungry for her next tale? Is it her attention to historical detail and period? Perhaps it's her skill at bringing to life those whose hearts ceased to beat centuries ago. Or is it her brilliant ability to conjure the spirits of her characters, painting vivid three-dimensional portraits as rich and unforgettable as the works of the old masters from which they were drawn? I went to university later in life to read English, and I did a taster course in history at the University of Sussex. And I, it just seemed to me that it explained everything. You know, film people would say, I just like the backstory. Whatever happens, if I look at a building, if someone tells me about an event, I always ask them what happened before, what was there before, how did this come about when it originated. That just seems to me, if you know that, I think you're on a way to, to understanding the present. Through her best-selling novels, Philippa Gregory has built a bridge to the past. The feelings of those who lived their passionate and often tragic lives so long ago are the same feelings we experience in the present. And that's why her stories resonate so strongly with us today.